When it comes to applying for an SBA loan, there's a few factors that you want to take into place before you start sending out your information. First thing that I would say, first first thing is to call your bank, security bank way. If, if you don't know if they do SBA loans or not, just give them a call and say, hey, I, I would like to take out an SBA loan. I heard it's the best interest rates out there. Or see if they offer any type of other line of credit or term loan at the bank itself that uh, would beat the SBA loan and just see if they're willing to finance it to you or, or at least entertain it. So that's where I would start, whether it's like a Chase bank or just a local community bank that you work with uh, that, you know, that does your business banking, I would check with them first. Now, if you just want more options or you haven't had a, the greatest experience with that bank or you've tried to get financing from them before they've said no, then I would go through the options that I'm about to give you now. And remember, you have to have at least a 650 plus credit score if you're going to try to get an SBA loan. So as long as you have that and you're a profitable business, then uh, I would go ahead and apply through these two different banks and, and lending programs. So first one I want to talk about is New Tech Make. New Tech, now they're top three on the list as far as the amount of dollars that they lent out last year through the SBA program. That's the fiscal year 2024. They used to be a, what we call a super broker in the industry. They would take all the information in from the business owner when applying, and then they had relationships with banks all across the country that did SBA loans, and then they would find the right match, right? So they would take your information and say, hey, you're a good fit with this and this bank, and then they would get offered back from that bank, and then they would match the two. They would get a, a referral or a commission from the bank that actually lent out the money for the SBA program, and that's how they operated their business. They actually went public last year and raised a bunch of money, and now they're lending out their own money through the SBA program. So now they're funding these deals directly, which is a huge advantage because they have all the good processes in place that they had uh, on the back end of being able to process these applications for SBA loans, do it in a timely manner, and they get these deals done more quickly, you know, faster than uh, a lot of the other banks out there that are doing SBA loans. So if you're I, in that, if you're going for a $500,000 or more SBA loan, I highly suggest you do it through new tech. The only downside that I have that I've gotten feedback in the past working with new tech. And again, I've been doing this five years and I always go through these two different banks, but new tech, they offer other business services on top of lending. I know they do. I think they offer business insurance and payroll and there's other services that, you know, when they take in your information and trying to sell you on their cross sales. So they may ask, excuse me, had too much coffee this morning, but they may ask that, you know, for more documents along the process, which just tell them like, look, I'm just wanted an SBA loan. And I want to use other services. Do I really have to give you these other documents that you're asking for? So just keep that in mind. But at the end of the day, they get deals done. They lend out money and they do it quicker than 99% of the banks out there that are offering SBA loans. So again, if you're going for $500,000 or more, I would try with new tech first. You'll know within a couple of days or so if you pre-qualify or not, and they'll get on the phone with you, you know, if not the same day. Now, second option, I, I really like SmartBiz is not a lender. So they they were like new tech before when new tech was just a broker. So SmartBiz. They've been in business for over 10 years and they have, they have relationships all across the country with banks, with lenders, with credit unions that offer SBA loan that fund the money directly. So they'll take in your information and then process it and find which banks you might be a, a good fit for. But they only do loans up to $500,000 or less. The other really good thing about Smart is, is they not only offer SBA 7A loans, but they also offer excuse me, they also offer line to credit now up to $100,000. And then they do term loans. I believe right now they're up to $200,000, $250,000. So you may not be a good fit for one product, but they can do, maybe they can do a line of credit or a term loan when you try to apply for an SBA, but it doesn't work out for whatever reason. So I really like SmartPays because all, all the good things that I say about new tech and their processes and their backend, SmartPays does it two times better. They get... At, You'll know within five minutes if you pre-qualify for an SBA loan or not. So they do a soft credit pool, say with New Tech, but they do a soft credit pool on your, you fill out your information. So they'll look at your personal credit score 
as well as your business credit score, they combine the two and they'll let you know right away if you, if you get approved or not, it will not affect your credit score. And that's the most important thing too. But I can't say enough good things about smart biz, but anyway, it's really easy to go through and fill out the application. It just takes you a couple of minutes. And like I said, you'll know if you're pre-qualified for that SBA loan or not. And if you're, again, they only do $500,000 or less loans. So they get these done deals done real quickly, typically four to six weeks for an SBA 7A loan and then line of credit they can do in one to two days and a term loan typically one to two weeks. So those are my two best options that I like using with my clients. Yeah, I think they just have the best communication. They get the deals done very quickly. And that's the two biggest things for you guys. You, you all ha don't have a lot of time. You want to be able to fill out your information. Know that it's not getting sold to other lenders and other banks. I've never had an issue with that with these two. And uh, they, like I said, they get deals done. They get them done quickly. So I think that's what you guys want. But uh, if you all have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.